Tommy, what is it? What's what? The past two days you haven't spoken five words to me. Now, what's eating you? Nothing's eating me, Lieutenant. Why should anything be eating me, Lieutenant? I know you're better than that, Tommy. Now, we used to be friends. What's happened? Nothing. Not a thing. You're lying. You're right, Dan. I am lying. I'm fed up. Right up to here. Follow me, Lieutenant. Keep talking, Tommy. You must be pretty proud of yourself, Dan. Lieutenant Dan Lawton. Whatever made you think you had the guts to be an officer? I don't know why you should resent me, Tommy. I didn't ask for the commission. They gave it to me. Big deal. Think you can order me now. Think I'm gonna follow you just cause you're wearing that gold bar, huh? Don't kid yourself, Dan. To me, you're still a sergeant. No more, no less. I get it. You wanted the rank. You wanted the commission, but I got it instead. I've taken a lot of risk for you, Dan. Made you look good in more ways than one. You've had it. From now on, carry the ball yourself. Anybody going out on the road. Let's go. Come on, move on. All right, you guys, let's hit it. Come on, pick it up. Let's go.
Frank Garrick? Taking a census? Hardly. I was your brother's platoon leader. Tommy's platoon leader in Korea? Yeah. He was my sergeant. Come in, won't you? I'm glad to know you. I don't know your name, Lieutenant. Ed Lawton, Dan Lawton. Dan Lawton. Formerly Lieutenant. Just plain citizen now. Tommy spoke about you all the time. Said you were the greatest guy in the world. Frank, your brother was a good sergeant. Young, a lot of drive, full of vinegar. We were both up for a battlefield commission. There's only one opening, I got it. Well, he didn't always see things my way. We were in a wooded area one day looking for snipers. I told him to stay back. He disobeyed my orders. Machine gun. Drink. Thanks. That's how it happened, huh? Yeah. I'm sorry to hear it, Lawton. I'm sure as an officer, your first concern was to look after your men. I feel badly, of course. That was all the family Tommy had. I guess when your time is up, it's up. I guess so. How about you, Lawton? Come out without a scratch? No, not quite. One grenade, one slug. You must have a charmed life. Could be. Just one thing, if you don't mind. How did Tommy get it? Did he suffer? No. No, it was fast. Over in a second. I'm glad of that. I couldn't have taken it if he'd suffered. When he felt pain, I felt it. When he died, a little of me died too. If I ever get my hands on anyone responsible for him getting... On a fellow? No, no, discharged. War's over, I'm out for good. Well, sit down, or are you in a hurry? No hurry. Got to get you 11.15 train out, though. Lots of time, almost three hours. How does it feel to be on your own again, Lawton? No shells flying at you, no holes to dive into, no attacks coming at you. <laughs> Do you think you can take some breath again? Well, it's rough, but uh, I think I'll manage. You don't seem too happy about it. I'm not. What's the matter? Oh, I had a little business before I left. Nothing big. Small sporting goods store. Partner. Partner got involved in a deal. We spent more time with his stuff than with the store. He let it slide to the extent that the insurance lapsed. There was a fire. No more store. No insurance. $5,000 worth of goods on consignment. I've got to pay for it story of my life. Sporting goods store, huh? Yeah, you name it, we had it. Everything from ping pong balls to magnums. Yeah. Tommy was a great kid. We had some great times together. You know what he did? Had a piano act at the Hatton Cane. He was their star attraction. I used to listen to him all the time. Even now I go there. I get the feeling Tommy's still around. You like to hunt? I've been secretly admiring your trophies. Like to hunt, huh? Sure, don't you? I live for it. Well, what have you done? Big stuff, I mean. Oh, a couple of months in Burma, once in Bengal. I got a few things myself. Nothing like yours, of course, but I assure you I'm no amateur. Maybe you're the guy I've been looking for. Uh-uh. In what way? A new type of hunt. 
I'll tell you about it later. How would you like to see some pictures I took last year? I'd be very glad to. Swell. Sit right over there, Dan. Enjoy these, Dan. I've ever seen, Frank. I envy you. I'm flattered. When he spotted me, he came charging. I had one cartridge and no time to reload. Man, that's what I call real guts. You certainly are a hunter, Frank. Spent three months out of Bombay, safari. You know, that's always been one of my ambitions. I've never been lucky enough to go on one, though. I'll tell you about a better sport. Want a refill? Why not? And what I wouldn't give for some of your experiences. you. Did you ever want to do something so badly you were willing to gamble everything you had for it? Sure. I want this to be my best hunt. Where? Right here in the good old USA. What can you find here that you haven't already found? Man. Right. What better game is there in the whole world than man? You're gonna stalk and shoot a human being? That's right. You're out of your mind, Frank. That's murder. Not if you don't kill your man. But if you intend to hunt him and shoot him, how do you intend to keep him killing him? Real simple. With this. 30-30. That's right. And if you fire this, the guy's still gonna be alive? That's right, because this is a camera gun. Camera gun? Yeah, take a look. 
camera gun. Yeah, see for yourself. Blank? No, film. My own invention. Instead of a real cartridge, it's film. No sound, nothing. You develop the cartridge, and you see where you hit your victim, and at what time. This is what I mean. That's my dog. It shows where I hit him at. Eight seconds, 31 minutes past two. Well, I don't get it. For a man who's hunted big stuff, isn't this somewhat tame? <laughs> tame isn't the word. What it'll have to do from now on. My ticker. Began going on the blink about a year ago. The doctor told me to cut out all strenuous activity, especially hunting. You know what that does to a man like me? It's a stranglehold. Might as well stop living. What I wouldn't do for one more hunt. It's got to be the best hunt, the best game in the world. Hey, wait a minute. How about you and me, Lawton? In what way? A hunt. I thought you just said the doc told you. That... Not game. You and me hunting each other with two camera guns. Well, I think that's a great idea, Frank, but I've got some business to take care of. Oh, you mean that store of yours? Yeah, and what's left of it. How much would it cost to straighten it out? About 5000 Okay, I'll make it worth your while. I love to hunt. You've got financial problems, right? Right. All right, I'll give you $10,000 if you fill my kill. Is it a deal? Well, I get the money to match you. I was a second lieutenant, not a chief of staff. All right. I'll give you odds. Ten to one. My 10,000 against your 1,000. If you win, you'll have double the money you need. What do you say? You got a deal. One shot each. The first person to film a kill calls the other's name. Then we'll develop the cartridge and see who forfeits the amount. Fine with me. Great. Maybe my last hunt will be my best. Where do we start and when? In the city. Let's mark the areas so we don't chase all over. Here the first day. Here the second. If I can't find you in 48 hours, I'll quit. We'll start in this area at 10 o'clock Wednesday morning, all right? Great with me. I find you, aim the camera gun, shout out your name, and I get $10,000. First, you've got to find me and hit me with one shot, or else you lose a thousand. Real sporting game. <laughs> what if we don't, uh, what if we don't meet in the, in the time period? Well, then we'll meet back here and the drinks are on me. Great, great. Just one rule, Lawton. We do everything in our power to lure the other fellow into a trap. I'll do everything I can to get you to my advantage, you do the same. No holes barred. Anything goes. Okay. Your gun fits into this. One shot each. Uh -huh. Where's yours? Only two guns like this in the world. Same cases, same guns. Quite a thing. I just want to warn you, Lord, and I have unusual eyes. By that I mean, whether it's night or day makes no difference to me. I can spot you anywhere, any place. So if you want to make it even, find places that are off the beaten path. Stick to the alleys. Walk the dark streets. Okay, Frank. See you in town Wednesday, 10 a.m. Not if I see you first, Lawton. Here's your map. I'll put the money in escrow in the morning. Thanks. I'll do the same. You know something, Frank? I think I could win this hunt. Maybe you can, Lawton. Maybe you can.
like to dance? I can take it or leave it. I get off tonight at 8.30. Good for you. Married? No, I always look like this. Well? Look, Cookie, some other time, okay? Yeah, sometime in 1973. Is there a damn lot in there? Do you have a Dan Lawton there? Have a Dan Lawton registered? Dan Lawton? One moment, I'll see. Yes, we have. Is he in? No, sir. I'm sorry. He went out about an hour ago. Where to? I don't recall exactly. He just gave me the key. Well, this is urgent. I'm his brother. Oh, wait a minute. I, I, I do remember. He said something about going out to Catalina. Catalina? No, no. He said, um, let's see. Uh, the Avalon. He said he was going to go out to take a look at the Avalon. Now, I don't know what he meant by that, except...
Hi. Mm. What's this? Oh, some sort of advertising. We get it all the time. Garrick, but you understand how it is. It's not against the law to walk around with a weapon in plain sight. It's illegal only if it's concealed. You're right. I'm sorry if I detained you, but it's my job to check on these things. And now, you're free to go anytime you like. Drink? Sure. What would you like? Surprise me. All right. Oh. 
know, I'm very flattered. In what way? Well, out of all the eligible bachelors to pick on, you singled me out. I had my reasons. This is not a pickup, Dan. Yes, I. I know about you. Quite a bit about you, Mr. Lawton. Well, it's my pleasure, I can assure you. But uh, I still don't know why you picked on me. I was very much in love with someone. He was killed on Lookout Ridge in Korea. I was on Lookout Ridge. Yes, I know. Tommy Garrick was killed there. Well, it's a small world. I found out about you. I had someone find you for me. Followed you into the hat and cane. I hope you win, Dan. I hope Frank has to pay you that $10,000. Sorry, Miss... Um... <laughs> Helen Layton. Helen, would you mind telling me what this is all about? Not at all. I was to marry Tommy when he got back. Frank didn't approve of me. This gets more interesting as it goes along. I felt out of place with Frank. He and his hold over Tommy. As though thinking for Tommy. Telling him how to live, how to breathe. Open house anytime. Thanks. Got lonely sitting in my room by myself. Sit in mine. Have a drink? I'm over 21. I'd have never guessed it. You should have been a diplomat. How do you know I'm not? I don't. But you're not. How can you tell? Your approach. Too direct. Should I change it? Not unless you're interested in wasting time. I'm not finished with this yet. Don't let it age. What do you do? You tell me. Your eyes. You're cold. Sharp. What's that a sign of? I don't know. 
don't know for sure. Maybe you're a killer. Keep your door locked. You could be my next victim. This hunt. How do you know that Frank doesn't want to get you out into the open so that he could... Push me under a truck or uh, off a high bridge? Yes. Have you thought about that? Uh-huh. And also that the world will soon be taken over by the people from the planet Dobo. You haven't believed a word I've said. Thanks for the drink. Dan. Just one word of caution. Don't trust Frank. How do I know I can trust you?
Your heart won't take it, Frank. Dan will win, and you know it. You're not the hunter you used to be. You've got to kill Dan because he is the one responsible for your brother's death. One more day. But in your condition, how do you know you can hit with one shot? Suppose you miss. And Dan finds out you tried to kill him. You better make sure. Get another bullet. You need two bullets to be sure. This is your last hunt, and you know it. Do you want to win it? Or lose it? I've got to win it. Then get two bullets. Well, this is an early visit. It's that Dan Lawton. We've got to do something about him. In what way? If it wasn't for him, you'd be marrying Tommy now instead of him being dead. You're out of your mind, Frank. Oh, yeah? Take a look at this. Leave it. Dan had Tommy killed. If it wasn't for him, Tommy'd be alive and Dan in his place. Did it ever occur to you that fate might have played a hand? And that Tommy drew the wrong card? Look, we can avenge Tommy, Helen, you and me. We can make it up to him, the both of us. I don't follow you. Because of Dan, Tommy's dead. A life for life. Are you suggesting that I... Sure, why not? We can kill him, the both of us. The odds are in our favor. I'm very sorry, Frank. Killing is just a little out of my line. Doesn't Tommy mean anything to you? But you want to repay his murder? Murder? You'd better see a doctor, Frank. You don't care. Nobody cares about Tommy. And you loved him. You lied, Helen. Tommy was too good for the likes of you. All this time you were engaged to him. How do I know you didn't? You're no good! You're no good!
I'm going to need a raincoat. Raincoat? Yes, sir. What size? Come this way. All right. Sure need the rain. Give me a 30-30 shell. Yes, sir. They come in boxes of 50 or 100. Look, one uh, shell, 30-30. That's all I want. But they're more expensive that way. Look, it doesn't matter. Please, get me a 30-30 shell. Yes, sir. What's the matter? My heart. <laughs> Can I get you a doctor? No. Hell's right. Two of them. Is there anything else I can do? No, I'll be all right. My case. It's on the counter. Will you get it, please? Sure. Yeah, it's a 
good fit. How much do I owe you? Including tax, five dollars. Looks pretty good. Yeah, you were right about the size. <laughs> Maybe I lost some weight, huh? Yeah. Thank you very much. You bet. down the line isn't straight. What is it with you and Frank? He was just here. He tried to kill me. He wanted me to kill you. Oh, cut it out, will you? Helen, I haven't done anything to Frank. I've only known him for 36 hours. Frank thinks that you killed Tommy. That, that you sent him out to be killed. He's crazy. You're right. He is. Look. Look, I've had it. I've had all I can take. I don't know what's going on around here, but I'm sure going to find out. Frank thinks that you were responsible for Tommy's death. That you had him killed purposely. That it was your doing. He came in at 5 o'clock this morning to convince me that I should kill you. This is all very interesting, but I don't buy it. He even tried to kill me. You had a great nightmare. Does that look like a nightmare? Frank's got a lot of explaining to do to me. Forget Frank. You've got to get away. The what he's done to you, not in your life. It could be yours. Where do I find him? Dan, please don't try. This is for the police. It's for me. I don't like being hunted down like a wild animal. But you don't understand. He'll kill I'm you. I'm trying to believe you. Now, where is he? Dan, please. For the last time, where is he? Hotel. Santa Monica and Wilson.
No wounds. Must have been his heart. Anything else to add? That's exactly the way it happened. What's that? Camera gun. Let's see it. That doesn't look like a camera gun to me. No to him either. 